Feather head coaching domino has fallen as Super Bowl winning head coach Mike McCarthy has agreed to a five-year contract with the Dallas Cowboys. Um, it seemed that Jerry Jones was ever going to break up with Jason Garrett. And finally it happened yesterday and they got their guy today. Um, I really like this hire for them specifically because they are so veteran laden and a nice mix of rookies as well, but it, there's so much of a good foundation. All they need is a different voice, a different um, vibe, a different message, because it seemed like that Jason Garrett's message was just going in one ear out the other for both parties, um, but the foundation is just insane. Dak Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott, um, Mari Cooper, Michael Gallup, um, and one of the best offensive lines in football as well. And then on the defensive side of the ball, you got Jalen Smith, Leighton Vander Esch, and Demarcus Lawrence. And uh, Mike McCarthy has added a great defensive coordinator to his mix, hiring uh, Mike Nolan, who's a um, veteran of this game as well, seen everything, has been with the Saints. Uh, the last few seasons is our linebacker coach, so a big loss for them. And he's been a head coach in this league as well. So uh, as much experience as Mike McCarthy has, you just double that with Mike Nolan. And I think that's a big uh, plus as well. But the key will be uh, for Jerry Jones not to be Dan Snyder or, uh, and just lay, sit back and let Mike McCarthy coach and let the players play and I know that's really hard for Jerry because he's just it's Jerry's world it's the center of everything but if he would just take a step back let his sons uh do the evaluation stuff and and yes he can have input but just sit back and enjoy because you do have one of the best uh foundations and one of the best football minds in Mike McCarthy and even better he's Mike McCarthy, in this year away from football, he's been evaluating his coaching, uh, doing more creative plays, um, analytics, just the game situations. He's been evaluating himself to be more modern and be more um, intuitive to today's NFL and what he needs to do. And I think if he keeps Kellen Moore as the OC at Dallas, um, I think that will be a comfort level for Dak as well. They seem to mesh nicely. And I believe Mike McCarthy has been dubbed a somewhat of a QB with quarterback whisperer where he's been able to get the best out of the quarterbacks he's worked with. We saw it with Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is just amazing, but so is Dak. And with a little bit more uh, push, from Mike McCarthy, he could be that as well. And um, I just think that this is the best of all worlds if Jerry Jones can kind of stay out of the way and see what happens and not um, override the coach's decisions because uh, Brett Maher couldn't hit the broad side of a barn in about, in about a three week span. And Jason Garrett said we would evaluate uh, the, the kicking situation and Jerry Jones didn't. Uh, Jerry Jones said, now that's who we're sticking with, and he struggled again, costing them a uh, game and uh, possibly a playoff spot. So, again, Jerry Jones, stay away. Let Mike McCarthy do his thing. And um, I think another key will be to make Ezekiel Elliott the vocal point and make that uh, clear, make that clear a lot like, Der Derrick Henry with the Titans and Dalvin Cook with the Vikings. And you've got a better quarterback than um, those two, uh, in my opinion, in Kirk Cousins and Ryan Tannehill. Not to say that Kirk Cousins and Ryan Tannehill aren't good, but I would take Dak Prescott over those two. So I think this is a great hire, great situation uh, for Dallas, and we'll see what happens. Not that I want Dallas to ever win anything, but... This is a step in the right direction, and uh, we'll see what they do in the draft to help their uh, great roster already, and who knows what they'll be able to do in free agency. But 
The coaching carousel continues to turn.